Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about the topic integration between time and labor and project costing. So everyone have the difficulties in uh, finding out the integration between time and labor and project costing. As we know that time and labor is a ECM module and project costing is an ERP module. If we complete the session of the integration between that, it will be easier for us to have the, all the benefits knowing the integrations. So let me move moving forward. I'm Manoj Krishnan. I'm Oracle Cloud Consultant at Copian Consultancy, and I have experience of around 10 months in Oracle ERP Cloud. And regarding the Akinda, today we are going to cover Oracle Time and Labor and the Project Costing and the data transfer, how it is exactly happening, and minimizing the error. What are the errors and how can we minimize it? And the basic project setup, which has to be needed for uh, the Oracle Time and Labor and Project Costing. And if you see about Oveon, Oveon is a business transformation and technology solution partner. We are headquartered in UK and spread out across USA, Philippines, and India. We are specialized and have expertise in different HCM, CRM, finance, and application development technologies. And moving on to the next one, this is exactly how time and labor and project costing works. So we can see that when we create the time cards, it will go to the validation process. From the validation process, the project my manager who will be approving the time cards. So once it is approved, the cost will not be transferred to project costing. We have to run a separate process called import process. The import process will run and it will transfer the hours from OTL to project costing. Again, we can review it and if any adjustments are needed, we can do that in the time card level or we can do it in the costing level and then it can go into the process. So this is exactly how it works. Like we fill the timesheets OTL and the project manager manager has to approve it. Once he approves it, it goes to the project project costing. We have to run the import cost process. So then it goes to the project costing. In the costing, we can make the adjustment and changes we, we can make and then we can process it. Move on to the next one. The prerequisites and projects. So, if the integration is possible, we have to know what exactly are the prerequisites required here. So, we can see cost rate overrides and project overview, transaction control and project resources. These are the four main modules which can be considered as the prerequisites in project setups. So, this screenshot can explain us more. That is, with the cost rates, we can just define the rate for the employees. So, how much is the per hour rate for the employee and also, according to the person name, we can the uh, assign the expenditure type and the rate for the employee. If any of these details are missing, we will be having errors and the integration will not be happening according as expected. So as next, we can see the project overview. As seeing a project, we will be knowing that whether the start date and the finish date and whether this active or not. All, the, all these details are very much important in uh, having this paper. And then it comes to transaction control. I know many of us wouldn't have been heard about the topic called transaction control. But when we see that the a leave or a, or a expensive type has many types like cash will leave, earn leave and professional, professional state time. So we can just assign those whether it is billable or not. Only if it is billable, it will be invoiced. If it is not billable, it cannot be invoiced. So for that also, we can also have a from date and to date. From which date to which date, it has to work. So all these setups can be configured here. Once it is configured, we'll be good to go. And then you can see the project resource tab. In this resource tab, we'll be having all the resources assigned to the project. That is, if an employer is working, his account manager, his project manager, his recruiter, everyone will be assigned in this project resource. In this resource, we can just give the from the starting date and finishing date for all the for all the employees. So if the finishing date or starting date is not properly given, we will be having some error in filling the time cards or in the project costing. So this is basically how it works. And with configuring these steps, we can minimize the error within OTL and project costing. Thanks everyone.